Hey everybody, check out this big nugget and this big specimen. Today I'm going to show you these up close and personal with two different cameras. One the cameras we're making the video with and the other one is the camera on this microscope. I'm able to actually use this microscope and film on my laptop which is actually um, a Chromebook and see this in 1000 power magnification. I paid less than $50 for this microscope on Amazon. I'll give you a link to it. It's pretty cool. And it can really show you some interesting things with the gold that you find. So we're going to get started. And we're going to look at two different types of uh, fine gold. One is alluvial plaster, which is, you know, plaster gold that has washed down a, uh, a river, a creek, a stream. It just kind of been placed there by water. And the other is alluvial. And the alluvial is the stuff that's coming off the hillside. It broke away from the host rock. It's kind of on, you know, in the middle. It's on that hillside again and it hasn't made it down to the stream to get washed, you know, down the creek by water. So we have two different types of gold we're going to be looking at. And this microscope gives you some really, really cool views. You know, when you're out in the field or you're at home, you can always look at, you know, specimens or, or things that you think may have gold in them with a loop. This microscope takes it to a whole new level, and it's really kind of cool. I'm not giving up my loop for it, but it is pretty amazing. So we'll get started. I'll show you the specimens first with a camera that we're filming the video with, and then we're going to record right from the microscope into the video. This microscope, you can also record everything you see with it. So it's really, really cool. Let's get started. Here's the microscope. You can see the specimens and the gold down here. There's some more specimens over here. There's some here in this little jar, a bunch of little specimens. So what we have here is a specimen, another specimen, a little nugget piece. This is actually a melted piece that I was melting down. And a couple other um, specimens that we have here. Um, these are the larger specimens. On this one here, you can actually, hopefully with this camera, you can see the line of gold going here. On this one, that the gold is easily obvious to see. And this is the Barbie Dazzler. You may hear the guy on uh, Oak Island call them Bobby Dazzlers, but I call them Barbie Dazzlers. And this is one that my um, wife found. You can see there's a nice little line of gold right there. Go back and look at the border gold video. You'll see some of this gold. I uh, found it near the border. And this is a three ounce piece. And I believe it has 16 grams of gold in it with a specific gravity test. It's her, it's her biggest piece to date. She's really excited about it. And here we have some, you know, fine alluvial gold and some fine alluvial gold. So this stuff here was you know, washed and rounded out going down a stream. This stuff here was on the hillside. So, alluvial, alluvial, I'm giving you a working man's definition. I encourage you to go um, look it up on your own to learn more. So, anyway, you can see, I'll show you real quick. I gotta figure out how to do this. This is what I can actually see with the, on my laptop. I'm going to film it from the laptop directly so you actually get a better view. So hang tight and we'll get that going. Okay, we're going to get started. And this is this is the fine alluvial gold. So this stuff is off a hillside. And you can see it's mixed in there with some heavies. Isn't that beautiful? Notice how the pieces are sharp and angular. They're a little bit rounded here and there too. And that's probably just from thousands of years of rain running over them on the hillside. But they never, never made it down to a river, to a creek. This stuff, we found it on a hillside. It's very coarse, very pretty. Let's jump over to the alluvial gold. This was found in a creek with running water. Look at the difference. I've kind of got to play with this microscope a little bit. Look at the difference in the gold. Alluvial gold. 
and you notice that there's probably some random hairs in some of these specimens and it's gold. The world is full of hair. I have hair. My dog has hair. Some of you may have hair. I don't know. But anyway, so these little random hairs, they're probably just dog and people hairs. Pretty darn cool. This is a little button, some gold that I was melting down. See if I can get it to focus in. I will say this camera can be interesting to try to get it to focus in. This is some little melt I was doing. Now here's a very coarse piece we found with a detector. You'll notice the, uh, I'll try to stop shaking it here. You'll notice the hairs on it. I don't know where they come from. Looks like dog hair to me. Found in the hairy mountains. Cobwebs. It's been sitting there on the hill for so long it just had cobwebs on it. Here's another piece. You can actually get this to focus really, really well if you hold it still and uh, and play with it. I can do that real quick for you. It just requires a little bit of work. Look at that. Look at the detail in that. Isn't that amazing? It works best on flat, flat surfaces. So you do have to do a little bit of adjusting. But look at the detail. It's just, it's just completely amazing. Now let's take a look at one of the, uh, one of the specimens you saw earlier. Let me try to get this refocused. There we go. Look at the gold just shot through here. This is definitely a better loop, better view than I will get with a loop. Let's take a look at the uh, Barbie Dazzler. Let me bring that up. Here's that line of gold on the Barbie Dazzler. Just amazing. What's really cool too is the other minerals that you can see with this. This surface is a little bit reflective here, this quartz and hematite. On this particular piece. Very cool. And again, we'll go back to the uh, we'll go back to the river placer. Let me just take a look at it. Look at that gold. Look how amazing that is. And again, this is the eluvial placer, stuff from the hillside. Absolutely incredible. I'll see how far I can dial it in. But there you go. That is just super cool. Hey, everybody. So, so here's a microscope right here. It's got a whole lot of little LEDs inside of it. And I'll give you the specs in the description, but it's pretty cool. Uh, less than $50 on Amazon. It can definitely enhance your gold finding. It can enhance your ability to, um, you know, look at material that you've crushed, that you're sampling. Like if you get some quartz or a stringer and you're looking at it with a loop and you're like, I'm just not sure if that's gold. You want to get down and close and personal with it to the next level. A microscope like this will do it. You can, you can look at, you know, free gold. You can look at gold and rock. You can crush up samples with it. It's very cool. There's a lot of uses for it. I think it's a lot of fun. I like things like this. You can look at leaves with it or coins or whatever you want. I love little sciencey things like this. And I'm always looking at ways that will just kind of give me more information because I love more information. 
I hope you've enjoyed today's video, today's um, very basic geology lesson with alluvium versus eluvium. Definitely a topic I encourage you um, to go learn more about on your own. And if you've liked this video, give it a big thing, thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, and all that good stuff. I'll catch you later.